Welcome everybody to another episode of Rewind the Times. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Guys, don't don't mind the shaking of the camera. Um, I've been doing my room over and cleaning it up, getting my house all ready. I just signed a new lease, so I'll be here for another year. Excited. Um, and I'm actually setting up my toys. And today I wanted to go over. Remember my last video? I did show you um, an update collection. Of, I showed you a collection of my. I told you a collection of my toy collection. Well, I've updated it since then. And I wanted to just show you what I've done so far. Uh, just kind of like an update on it. So I'm going to reverse the camera and I hope you guys enjoy what you see. Okay, guys. So I'm going to start. And I got a light, guys. So I'm going to start over here with my Motu. This hasn't changed at all. Like I said, guys, nothing from Motu will ever change. It is my favorite toy line of all time. And it will never change. Um, the Evil Horde is my favorite. And I've got all the evil, almost all of them from the, the classic line, classics line, Motu Classics, which, which like I said last time in my video was very expensive because I didn't collect them when they first came out. I got them all um, on the second market and man were they expensive. Some of them, I can't believe the prices of some of them now, like Fangor right there. Dude, I was looking at him the other day on eBay. He's going for 500 450 out of package. I paid $150 for him years ago when I got him. There's a lot of my, there's a lot of my originals from when I was a kid. Back in from 85, 86, 84. I love Motu, man. Just love, love Motu. Okay, I'm going to slide over to here. This is the bottom shelf. This shelf is going to change, guys. It's, 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 I'm not sure what it's going to be, but it's not going to stay what it is right now. As you can see, a mixture of some Power Rangers and McFarlane's DC. Just a mixture of everything. Now, you guys know, I talk about this in my old videos. I love Batman 66. I love Adam West, they call him the Bright Knight. And this is the McFarlane uh, set. I will always include at least one or two shelves of Batman 66. The way the toys are coming out, I think I'm gonna end up going to one shelf. I usually do two, but I think I'm gonna condense it to one. And it's gonna be the McFarlane toys. I love this series and I just love the way it's looking. So over here, I got a little bit of the Flash movie scene going on right here. I do got, there's my Batmobile that I got from the McFarlane. There's a, I love that cyborg, that's one with the face mask on. There's Ben Affleck riding on his bat cycle. And then I got the flashes running. So I got the Ezra Miller flash from the Justice League. Zack Snyder's in the back. That's Grant Gustin from the flash. And then this right here is from the flash movie. The two new flashes. The, young, the younger Barry and the, old, and the 2013 Barry. And they're kind of like running. You know, that's not going to stay the same. That's not going to stay like that, but it's just, you know, for now. And over here, this shelf's gonna change too, but I got the Teen Titans set that just came out. And then I put the Beast Boy in front of the uh, Build-A-Figure uh, Beast Boy. This, I can't wait to do, when I, when I, when I do do my shelf, it's gonna basically, basically be good guys face bad guys. Batman face his, Batman and his friends face the Batman's Rogue Gallery pretty much, so. This, these shelves are not gonna stay the way they are. But, you know, it's coming out, I just wanted to show you guys. Back here, I love that. You got the Ninja Turtles mixed with the Power Rangers. It's like peanut butter and chocolate to me. <laughs> Mix them together. And then this shelf's one of my favorite. Jason is my favorite horror icon of all time. And I love, love this. I can't wait till they stop making more. So right now they stopped at six. I mean at seven right there. I want to see eight, nine, you know, ten, etc., etc. This is my McFarlane's. Amigos from the 1966 Batman. So that will stay up there. That's not going to change. That's definitely going to stay up there. And then that's that. this will stay the same too. I got all the uh, Funko Pops. This will stay the same. This is all the McFarlane's. I, uh, I'm sorry, not McFarlane's. The Motu Origins so far. I got almost all of them. I got, the, I got, I mean, pretty much some series from Wave 1 to like Wave 7. I have every one of them. But now I haven't, you know, just money-wise, I haven't been able to keep up with Wave 13, Wave 14. I mean, they're coming out so fast now. There's more of them. I tried to keep my Skeletors and He-Mans together, as you can see. And this is one of my favorite shelves. So these, this is all my bat. All, all, this shelf's all my favorite Batman from the McFarlane to mix in with the the um, Black Adam and Shazam and Henry Cavill's Justice League Superman. Still can't. Still hoping and praying that one day. That we see that matchup. We need to see that. Because when I watch Black Adam now, the ending's a little different now. It's actually kind of sad because of what could have been. And I, and I still want to see that. I'm praying SnyderCon was a success. 
Um, yes, there was no big announcements that came out, but still, it was a success for the fans. And then here's all, all the Batman that I got so far from the McFarlane. Not all of them, but a, you know, a good chunk of them, as you can see. That's my Batman Earth 2. I love that with the red on. See on the red on his chest, and uh, the red, the red inside of the cape is red. Love that Batman. That's, I just, that's my newest one. And then this Batman right here, that's the Frank Miller. That's the one that Ben Affleck portrays. Perfect, perfect Batman for Ben to portray, and he does an amazing job at it too. That this shelf will change. Only a very few st few things from the shelf are gonna stay there. The rest is gonna you know get bagged up, uh, bubble wrapped, and put away. I think my McFarlane is gonna go on this shelf. Okay, so this is the new stuff. That is the Batwing. I got. Let me sit back a little bit. That is the Batwing, McFarlane Batwing. Um, that is on the wall. Absolutely love that. And then I put the. Um, I have three Michael Keaton McFarlane toys. Um, the first day they went on the first day they they went on sale, I bought them. And I bought three of them. I have uh, one out of package and two in package. And there's one on this display on the wall. And then there's Christian Bale, who's my second favorite Batman. And Ben's my third. And then Adam West is kind of like on his own. I love him so much, man. He's just kind of, I just kind of on his own. But Keaton's my favorite of all time. And then these are the Eagle Moss cards I was talking about, guys. So you got from Batman 89. That's the armored car. That's Batman Returns. And then that's the Bat, Batski. Remember when he was going through the, um, the sewers uh, when he was chasing down the penguin? That's from that. I love those friggin' things, man. And then that's the new Batman statue from the Flash movie. And then that's the that's the McFarlane, Michael Keaton toy. And then there's Catwoman. Those are the one fourth on uh, Neckers. Yeah, those are about a hundred bucks. You can get them on sale on Big Bad Toys if you get you know if you, if you just if you get the sale right. Okay, so this is the shelves. These shelves are gonna stay this 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 shelf's gonna move a little bit, but the bottom. Basically, the toys are gonna are gonna stay, but I just have to rearrange them. So those are my Inhumanoids. Um, well, first in the back, let me see. You got I got my Kenner Beetlejuice. You can see right there. I'm gonna add more to that. I want, I'm gonna collect the, oh, the whole Beetlejuice line from Kenner. I love that line. Um, so those are my Humanoids. You got Olga, who's the purple one. Herc, the green. Dr. Albright, which is the blue, and then Liquidator, which is the yellow and blue. He's the hardest one, man. Dude, he goes for like 225 250 complete. Uh, I bought that package deal right there for 75 bucks as a bundle. I, I got super lucky. I don't, think the, I don't think the guy realized what he had because th these toys almost go for 100 bucks individually. So to pay almost 70 oh, but barely, about $75 for all of them was, I think, a really good steal. Okay, so back in the day, there was these things that my grandmother used to buy for me. They're called skateboard smack-ups. I don't know if anybody remembers them. They came out in 1985. I mean, these things were showcased to kids. Betty Bumpers, Rich Stitch. I mean, look at them. Wally Whack Up, Tammy Tailpipe. I just love these things. Ronnie Roadkill. <laughs> I used to just play with those on my grandmother's rug in her parlor. Love those toys. And then more Origins. And then down here, love this shelf. So this shelf's one of my favorite shelves. So back in, back in the back, you have the, you have the Police Academy toys. I am going to try to collect the whole set. I have a lot now, but I am going to try to get. They're not that expensive at all. And then there's my Visionary. I will. I am going to collect that Visionary set. They are a little pricey, but I'm going to save up. I get a little spending limit each week to myself, and I'm going to each week try to get at least one. And then there's Bill and Ted. That's an expensive line. Um, I got lucky. Those Bill and Ted both came on package, and I paid 50 bucks for both of them. Nowadays, they, you, you can't get, I think they're like 50, $50 a piece or even more. There's Genghis Khan, but I want to get them at all. The Billy the Kid is very expensive. The Bones guy, the uh, Death. Um, and then there's, uh, there's Bogus. Not Bogus, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, God. I can't think of the guy's name. The one that travels with them in time. He, he passed away. George Carlin, whatever character George Carlin plays. Oh, man, they are so cool. I'm, I'm going to get that whole line. Love that line. And then there's my Metlar. I will get Tendril and Decompose. They, are, they will take me a while because they are very expensive, but I will put money aside, and I will definitely get them. So, the room is coming out, guys. Very I'm, The toys that are out right now, loving it. I really love how I have a little bit of classic and modern modern day toys. So, uh, I don't know. Tell me what you think, guys. I, put some, I also put some stuff up here, too. Here's my uh, Christian Bale Hot Toys. And then there's the there in the back. Those are the other those are the other eagle mosses. Love those cars.
love Batman Beyond, man. I, I really want to see Keaton be a mentor to Terry McGinnis. I hope I think he'd be the perfect person to do it. And then those are my Garbage Pail Kids. I own so many sets of Garbage Pail Kids, guys. I actually have a video if you want to check way back. Actually, it might be my first video of, the, of doing this way back two years ago if you want to check it out. But I can do an updated version if anyone wants to see that. Hey right, guys, I just got home from the gym. I'm going to eat a little bit, and I got some cleaning to do, but just wanted to show you my uh, an updated version of my toy collection. And uh, hey guys, hope everybody has a blessed day. Remember, man, God first in family, and as always, take care, guys.